The University of California system doesn't have enough homegrown California students. Yeah, seems kind of strange, but that is the critique from the state auditor tonight. CBS2 Orange County reporter Michelle Gili has reaction to that report. You know, UCLA said no, UCSD pretty much said no, and you know, it, it's, been tr it's been tough. Rejection, even for the best of the best. El Cajon High School senior Alex Youngman has a 4.4 grade point average. His twin brother Sam, a 4.6. Yet both have been told no more than once over the last few weeks by admissions officers on University of California campuses. I see a lot of my friends who are similar situations, you know, good test scores good grades who get rejected from all these schools and it's it's kind of just annoying. A scathing audit released today by the state of California says that UC schools are hurting local students, especially minorities, by recruiting and enrolling so many from out of state. How many? The audit found over the last 10 years the number of out of state acceptances has increased 432%. Those students pay $23,000 in additional tuition each year. UC President Janet Napolitano counters that adequate state funding is the best way to increase the number of Californians at UC schools. I would like to see it where that if you have a, a GPA and a test score, flat out you're accepted. You can use any of the three surfaces, any of the three sides will work. You don't have to stay right here, okay? Centennial senior Daniela Romero came from Corona to tour UC Irvine today. She feels lucky to have been accepted here. Many in her international baccalaureate program have been getting bad news. It, it was interesting to see only like three people get accepted when they are all totally qualified. The University of California takes issue with the audit, saying that it draws conclusions that are not based on data or sound analysis. As a commitment to Californians, UC promises to enroll 5,000 more in-state students this year than it did last year. At UC Irvine, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.